G'day guys, Craig from Vinegar Hydro Blasting. Stick around today, we're going to do some aluminium blasting and we're going to do some DIY zinc plating. I've just had Chris from the Hagen factory drop around. He's dropped me in a couple of, couple of rocket boxes off the uh, Triumph 500 GP bike that they're doing, 48 or something, 1948 I think. Uh, so we're going to we're going to blast hydroblast those and make them look nice again. And he's dropped in eight uh, cylinder head bolts that his dad's had to manufacture, and he wants me to put a bit of zinc plating on them for him. Uh, he couldn't buy new ones, so we're going to do our best, and I'll take you along for the ride. So here's what he's given me. We'll come up with a plan of attack. What I think I'll do is I'll uh, hydroblast all these bolts and set them aside to dry so that we can uh, start plating them. And while we're plating these, we'll uh, clean up these rocker boxes. They'll look a lot better than that when they're done, and um, we'll give them a go inside. I don't know where you can see that, but let's have a look in there. That's putrid in there. We'll make that nice again as well. Anyway, first things first, we'll get onto these bolts. So we've just chucked one of these bolts in the uh, wet blasting cabinet. Certainly gives you a good starting point for zinc plating uh, when you wet blast these first. Knocks all the crap off them and gives you a very, very clean surface to start with. Right, I've got a few of these bolts done. What we might do now is we might start cooking these in the uh, in the zinc plating. We might start with one of the smaller ones first. It's about four inches long. I reckon I'll set the current for that for about uh, 0.8 amps, and we'll see how that goes. These ones here are half as long again, so if that one works at 0.8, we'll up it to 1.2 with this one. Anyway, we'll wire this one up, and we'll uh, go through the process. There we are, a bit of copper wire on that. We'll just head over to the uh, zinc plating area and we'll uh, get it happening. First up, what are we going to do? We'll put it in the uh, acid dip first, I think. Give it a few seconds in there, see if it bubbles. No real bubbles coming off that, so I've got it pretty clean. Just rinse that off. <coughs> got a little degreaser bath up here. We'll um, pull the lid off that and uh, then we'll chuck it in the uh, zinc solution. Right, we'll give that a quick uh, swish in some hot degreaser. There we go. Rinse the degreaser off. Now I'll have to put the camera down and we'll uh, hang it in there. We'll give it about 15 minutes in there, I reckon. That's all we do with it there. Down you go. And we'll turn this uh, power supply on. There we go, about 0.8 amps. That thing's probably flickering like the bejesus for you guys on the, on the TV. But anyway, 15 minutes, we'll check the time. We'll come back and have a look at that. We'll probably turn it. Uh, we'll give it a spin halfway through. Right, oh, I just checked the time. We'll uh, finish cleaning the rest of these things off. Okay, 15 minutes is up. Moment of truth. Let's see what we got. Oh, that is looking all right. Nailed it. All right, I'll put the camera down and we'll move on to the next stage. We'll uh, dunk it in the chromate. Righto. It's out of the uh, platen solution. Rinse any excess platen solution off. We'll pop it down here in the acid pickle for about two or three seconds. There we go. We'll rinse any uh, acid pickle off that. And then we'll put it up here in the zinc chromate. Um, we'll give it about... We'll give it about 30 or 40 seconds in there. Right, oh, we'll rinse that uh, chromate off and then we'll hang it up to dry. And uh, 24 hours time, that'll be as hard as me. And there's that newly zinc plated bolt in the sunlight. That's come up all right, hasn't it? Anyway, we'll get on to the rest of these. And while we're doing uh, these, we'll move on and start cleaning up these uh, rocker boxes. 
I may have misled you guys. I think I said they were off the GP bike, but they might be off the uh, 650 Thunderbird Salix Beach Racer they're building. Right, 15 minutes is up. Let's check out this uh, longer one that I set on, what was that? 1.2 amps. Right, oh. Oh, yeah. I reckon I've got the, uh, the current set just right. Those bolts are coming out quite nice. Shows you guys the old blaster's not just a one trick pony, eh? Right, I will make a start on these rocker boxes now. And there we go, folks. There's one of those rocker boxes done. It's looking pretty special. Anyway, we'll get on to this next one now. And that's the other rocker box done. Just waiting on a couple more of these bolts to be uh, zinc plated. Now, if you're looking for some interesting viewing on YouTube, I've done this work for Chris and Alan at the Hagen Factory is the name of their YouTube channel. They do some really good bike builds and have some really informative stuff. Alan's a guru on the old uh, Pommy stuff. Anyway, yeah, have a look at their channel. Subscribe if you will and um, give them a bit of support. There we go, viewers. Have a look at that. That's a successful outcome today. I don't normally do a lot of zinc plating for customers because it's fairly time consuming. Um, but these were a specialty item that uh, he couldn't buy new and he was willing to pay what it took. So uh, we did that and I'm sure he'll be happy with it. Well, guys, if you got this far into the video, you may as well bash the bejesus out of that like button. Doesn't cost you anything. And you may as well check out one of those videos as well. Anyhow, thanks for watching. Take care till next time, and I'll see you then.